you want to run an LLM like ChatGPT on Ubuntu. Today, I'm going to show you how. So what I have here is a very fresh Ubuntu install. Brand new, just got it all dialed in. So we're going to go from the very beginning as if you have nothing else on your system for dependencies, for the things that you're going to need to run large language models on your computer. And just for reference, I'm running Ubuntu 24.04 LTS on this machine here. Um, this is a pretty hefty machine. This is my main machine, it has the i9-9920, and we have a GeForce RTX 4090 card. Awesome possum. Um, you don't necessarily need this much hardware to do this. However, this is the machine that I'm running this on, and this is what we're recording with today. So let's get rolling. First, of course, we're going to do sudo apt update. We're going to make sure that everything is up to date and ready to go here. Okay, one of the things I'm going to need is NVIDIA drivers. So I have an NVIDIA GPU. If you have an NVIDIA GPU, you need to have the drivers installed. So we're going to go through and install the drivers just for this process. Okay, and we can see here uh, the current version of NVIDIA drivers that we have here. I'm going to go ahead and update these, and I'm going to go with the uh, enterprise-ready drivers for this. Okay, and if we type in sudo ubuntu-drivers, you can see a list of drivers here. Um, if you already have your driver installed, you can skip this part. And then I'm going to go ahead and install my drivers here. And I'm going to specify NVIDIA 535. And then we'll install the drivers for computing purposes. And finally, we're going to install the NVIDIA utils. All right, so I think my NVIDIA card is installed and ready now. Here's something I can use to check. Type in NVIDIA-SMI. Okay, cool. I made the font a little bit bigger so you could read it, so it's a little bit hard to see here. But as we can see here, we have the driver version 535. We've got CUDA 12.2. Everything seems to be good and dialed in with this RTX 4090. And like I said, if you already have your NVIDIA drivers installed, then you could just skip this whole thing here. Now, the first thing we want to do is get a llama. The tool that we're going to work with today will run large language models on your local machine. It's such an awesome product, right? It has a, this rare combination of being easy to install and use while also being very powerful at the same time. Oftentimes in computing, we have to trade that off and you don't have to with Olama. Okay. And at the Olama website, if you go to olama.com.download, you can see that it works on Mac OS, Linux, and Windows, which is fantastic. I've used it on all three platforms and it's worked great on all of them. To install it in Linux, we just need to copy this one command here. And then we need to install curl. This curl's not installed on here. Okay, now if you're a little bit nervous about this, and you should be, of you know running this shell script remotely, you can also Go here where it says install.sh. You can take the pipe off the end so it just downloads it. And then you can take a look at it and see what is actually involved in this script here. Now I've checked this out the very first time I downloaded it. I definitely wanted to see um, you know, what was going on and checked it out. That's something that's good to do. But if you trust it, you can just run it remotely like this. And it will start to download everything for you. Okay, and it's done. And notice it says NVIDIA GPU installed. That's important. If you have a GPU, you want to use the GPU for this. So you want to make sure that it installs that. And let's go ahead and get our first model to play with. If we go back over here to olama.com, go to models, let's see what the newest, latest, greatest is. It looks like it's Llama 3. Um, so we'll check this out. We're filtering by featured here. And uh, yeah, let's just try out Llama 3. So you can get larger models. It looks like we can get an 8 billion and a 70 billion here. We're just going to do the 8 billion. So we're going to copy this where it says, oh, Llama run Llama 3. Let's try it out. Now, the very first time you run a model, you have to download it from the internet. So that's what you're seeing right now is this, this uh, downloading the model for the first time. Now, the next time that you run this, it will be a lot faster. All right, 
And it looks like it's been successful. Okay, now we're here to prompt. Let's go ahead and uh, put in the proverbial uh, question that we ask LLMs all the time. This is kind of the equivalent of the hello world. Why is the sky blue? And voila, there we go. Some interesting stuff about why the sky is blue. And now we're good to go. I mean, you could sit in here all day long, ask it, you know, tell me a funny joke about Python. It's going to tell you funny jokes. Very fast, very cool. Now, there's a lot of good reasons why you want to run an LLM locally on your machine. We'll talk about that when we're done. But let's see some other ways that we can access this. So this is a prompt. It runs within your command window. It's pretty cool for testing a few things, but not exactly useful. So we type in front slash buy to escape out of that. And there's a couple of different ways that you can sort of access this now. One of the ways is by using the Olama API, which is now running and now installed. So once again, using curl, we can say curl localhost 11434, that's our port, API generate dash D. And let's go ahead and send a little JSON here. So our model is going to be llama3. And I believe this is the 8 billion model. So we got llama3 8b. Prompt, why is the sky blue? And then for stream, we're going to do false. And I'll talk about what the stream is here in a minute. So here we have a nice, well-crafted curl command. Ah, it says uh, Olama 8b is not found. That's my mistake. We can do O llama list, and we can see that I actually need to call this llama three latest. So let's go back and edit this. Instead of 8b, we're just going to say latest. And there we go. Deep within this JSON is the answer that we're looking for. And it's usually output in markdown format. Pretty cool, right? So one thing that you can do is you can do this. We can output it to output.json. Let this thing run. Then we'll vim output JSON. Oh, and it looks like I don't have vim. Now I wasn't kidding when I said this is a very fresh brand new install. Now we'll vim JSON output.json, you can see here is our output. Pretty cool, right? Definitely useful. But how else can we do it? Well, we could access it with Python. Let's try that out. So let's see if I can make a uh, new Python environment here. We're going to call this Python test. We're going to say Python 3-MVNV Olama test. And it looks like I need to install virtual environments. So let's do that. Once again, brand new system. Now I'm going to type in Python 3-M, VNV, Olama test. All right. Okay, now we have our own nice little virtual environment. So we want to connect to Olama with Python. How hard is that to do? Not very hard at all. So we could type in pip install Olama, and we'll install the Olama libraries that make everything easier. So before these came out, uh, probably, uh, I don't know, six months ago, more, when I first started messing with this, I actually just wrote Python to interact directly with the API. Not very hard, not very difficult. However, uh, it is a lot easier and probably a better idea all the way around to use this Olama library that we're using right now. So we're going to do vim test.py. And here we're going to do import Olama. By the way, this is this uh, Olama library is what I use for all of my stuff now. I don't write it by hand anymore. Let's just copy and paste this so you don't have to watch me type it. 
In here, we're just putting in our response, olama.chat. Model's gonna be llama3, latest. And for the messages, we choose a role of user and then content, why the sky is blue, or why is the sky blue? Right quick, python test.py. Voila, there we go. Just output it to the screen. And obviously you can use this in Python however you want. You could use it to populate a database. You could use it to create files, um, whatever you want. So, so far I've showed you uh, going through the command line interface, going through curl, accessing it with Python. What if we want to create a web interface? So in some of my previous articles on jeremymorgan.com, we have covered um, quite a few things. And one of the things with these large language models is um, they're kind of clunky to work with, right? Usually you're going through a prompt or something like that. Uh, but what if you just want to test a model, send it some things, you want it to be graphical, you want to change all the settings graphically. You know, it's kind of one of those personal preference things. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up something called the open web UI. It's really cool. It used to be the Olama UI, but uh, now it's open web UI. It covers several different things. So this portion of the video, we're going to go into installing that. First thing you want to do is install Docker. sudo apt install docker.io. Here we go. We'll install all of our cool Docker stuff so we can do Docker container stuff. Okay, and then we'll do sudo group add docker. We'll create that docker group. Oh, looks like it already exists. So now I need to add myself to that group. User mod dash ag docker. Me. And now I need to log out and log back in. Okay, so I've logged out, logged back in. Test out our Docker. Looks like Docker's working. Docker's great. So now we're ready to go. So we've got Docker all set up. And then we need to install the NVIDIA Container Toolkit. Um, this is one of those things where if you want to use your GPU within a container, you've got to do it. The instructions are here on this page, and I'll put a link in our description for how to do it. Um, so what you gotta do is just follow these instructions here. So we'll copy this. And then we'll configure our repository to use experimental packages. Going to have to do a sudo here. All right. And we'll do sudo apt get update. Awesome. And then sudo apt get install dash y nvidia dash container dash toolkit. Pretty easy, only takes a few minutes and you might already have it installed on your machine. And then we need to configure it for Docker. So we type in sudo nvidia-ctk runtime configure dash dash runtime equals Docker. Okay, and it recommends that we restart Docker. So let's do that. Okay, and then we have a container to install. And you can find the link to this on jeremymorgan.com slash blog slash generative AI slash local LLM Ubuntu. We will copy this docker run command here. And what this is going to do is pull down a container with the web interface already installed, ready to go and it's going to kick it off and keep it running. Okay. And then we just need to go to localhost 3000. Voila, 
Here's our web interface. Now, if this is the first time you're running this, you'll need to create an account. It's not really an account, but Okay, let's go. And now we can see the open web UI here. And I'm going to change this really quick here. To go to settings, theme, we want a dark setting. Now, what can you do from here? Well, there's a select a model here. We don't have any models yet. So we'll need to uh, go ahead and do that. We'll go over here to our admin panel, go to settings and then models. Now here we can enter a model tag. It'll download it and then we can run it. So we'll go back to olama.com, search for models. Let's try a different model this time. Let's try Quentu. So we'll go here where it says olama run Quentu. We'll just put in Quen2 and then click the download button. It'll pull down the manifest, pull down the model, and then we'll be able to select it and use it. All right, once it's downloaded, it's going to verify here, and then it will be available for chat. Here we go. As soon as you see that success, then you know you can start a new chat. We'll select this Quen model. Tell me a funny joke about Ubuntu Linux. Why was the Ubuntu logo so confused? Because it wasn't Fedora or Debian. Uh, for crying out loud, that's terrible. But you can see here that we now have this cool chat interface, right? So you can say, uh, create a script for a YouTube video about installing local LLMs in Ubuntu. In this comprehensive guide, we're diving into, yeah, you get it. Anyway, I'm not really sure how accurate this particular uh, thing is, but it just generated a script for doing a YouTube video. Anyway, so to recap, here's what we've done. So we set up our NVIDIA drivers so that I can use the GPU. Then we downloaded Olama and installed it. Then we showed how to access it through the command line using this chat. We accessed it using curl. We accessed it with Python. And then we downloaded this fancy web interface to interact with it that way. So pretty cool. Go ahead and leave me any feedback in the comments. If you have questions, anything like that, or you just want to tell me what you're doing with Olama on your machine, whatever. It's all open. Thank you for watching. Hi, I'm Jeremy Morgan, and this video is a part of my series on generative AI. If you enjoyed this content, smash that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.